Hey guys, what is going on? I have Mr. I Try Hard here, and we are ready to do another episode of Would You Rather. You guys are loving this so far, Mr. I Try Hard. Would you like to say hello? What's up, Kelly? What's up, Kelly's channel? Good to be here once again for the Would You Rathers. Gotta feel good about doing these, because these be fucked up, and I like fucked up questions. Hell yes. <laughs> and everyone seems to like the really messed up ones. I know whenever I ask you guys for Would You Rathers, you always like, just go really gruesome with it, and it's horrifying to read them. Um, <laughs> but let's get started. So this first one is from a Twitter follower, and I thought it was pretty interesting. It's not too gross or morbid. Uh, but it is, would you rather piss every time you stand up or shit every time you sit down? Hmm. It's a very difficult one, because either <gasps> way, it's messy. I am going to take the... Ah, oh, my God. Um... I want to piss every time I stand up. I'm going to be sitting down a lot, like, whenever I game. I don't want a big mess. You know what I mean? Like, like, I don't know. I don't want to have... I spend most of my days sit, 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 ugh, sit, sitting down. So, <laughs> having a hard time <laughs> oh saying my, God, my words. Sit, 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 I know, sit, right? <laughs> I'm having a hard time saying my words, but I, I don't. I spend most of my time sit, sitting down. Wow, I can't even say that fucking word anymore. And uh, it's just... I don't want to spend all my time picking up dog crap all the time, because I, no. I shit dog track. It's the way it works. And uh, I think standing up and pissing would kind of be cool as well. I just think about it. You could walk around and, like, walk backwards, just have, like, a trail, and then, you know, go to the store or whatever. You could always go back using that trail. It kind of really be, like, uh, some kind of, uh, I don't know, paper trail, I guess? I don't know. Yeah, see, there <laughs> would be no way, to, like, at least with the piss, like... Once you sit down and you've, you you can clean, it can be, you're done with it. Like, yeah. If you, sh if you shit when you sit down and you want to clean it up, you're going to have to stand up to clean it up. And then eventually you're going to want to sit down again. So either way, it's just like, it's too messy. Whereas with, if you piss every time you stand up, it's just, I think it's easier to clean up. And eventually you can just sit down and be done with it. Would you be so. like sh shitting in your sleep? Even if I don't know, <laughs> I think you would shit once. Like oh, is it just sit, once? You go down. Yeah, you, yeah, you just shit once. I mean, it's not constant shitting. Oh, that would that would just be messed up. No, it's just initially, like when you stand up or sit down, that's when it happens. I'm gonna keep my answer though. I want to piss. Yeah, I'm gonna piss too because it's just easier. Yep. All right, next one. Would you rather have sultry porno music sound out whenever you make a romantic advance or get aroused? <laughs> <laughs> or lose all sexual inhibition in the presence of cantaloupe. Can so, like the fruit? The fruit. So, like, just to consider, you know, possibly have an X-rated film career. Or you should consider what grocery shopping would be like. I, this one's a gimme, man. I want that sultry music. Like, yeah, but it could get really awkward. It could. Like, imagine you're just, like, in class, like, studying for something, and then you just get, like randomly aroused because that's what guys do right we get boners all the time yeah. so so you just like just music starts playing everybody's looking at you all weird because you got a boner and they're like dun, 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 dun. Like, like elevator music um i want that i think my life would be awesome i think you know i'm not really ashamed of, of of sex and stuff like that so i think getting aroused in public would not be a big problem for me you just rep it if, guys by the way pro tip if you guys are like ashamed of a boner, or like ashamed of being aroused. That's not the way to get women. If you just like assume it, you're like, yeah, I'm horny. What the fuck are you gonna do? Then girls go along with it. It's the way it works. So I'm thinking. I'm gonna I don't know. That, that could be <laughs> kind of a problem sometimes. What are you so talking about? Just go up to a random chick and say, hey, I'm horny. What are you gonna do about it? You, you might get no, slapped. No, Kelly, you have no idea how many times chicks have touched my dick just because I've said that I was uh, I was hard. Dude, so random. Like, were they drunk? Uh, no, no, I mean, they were, like, they might have been tipsy, but, like, I would just sit there, and, uh, my buddy knew, knew I had, like, random boners all the time. I was, like, 18 or 20 years old, and he would just go, hey, yo, try hard, you got a boner? And I'd be like, yep. And chicks would be like, what? No. I'm like, yeah, I swear to God, I got a boner right now. And they'd just touch it. So they couldn't see it? Well, no, I mean, it's in my jeans, but I guess they could <laughs> see some of it, but yeah. <laughs> I, I, I used to do that all the time. All right, I don't... <laughs> See, I think in some situations, sure, the girls will probably touch it, and they'll be like, ooh, what's that? Like, um, but not in all situations. So don't try that in <laughs> every situation. If you're out and about in, like, a party atmosphere, go ahead and try it. Not, like, 
at the grocery store. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I'm going to choose the, um, the cantaloupe one just okay. because, like, I feel like I would have so many good, like, grocery store adventures. And yes. I'd, like, try to find grocery stores where, like, really sexy naked men shop. Well, I guess that's not possible. But um, hot <laughs> guys. And then, like, I'd just become a total slut. <laughs> in the fruit section. <laughs> and it would be so funny. What if you went to like a buffet and there were cantaloupes? Oh my god, it'd be a total slut. You're just like walking by the cantaloupe aisle and it's like boom. boom. And I just start like whipping all my clothes off and like going up to people and like, like giving the them lap dances. First guy in line, just drop to your knees and you're good to go. Come on, that would be <laughs> it would be hilarious. <laughs> and everyone would know me as the cantaloupe girl. And then like I feel like um Guys, instead of like buying me flowers, they'd bring. They have those fruit bouquets. Uh, bu- bouquets. <laughs> yes. Am I saying that word right? I like yeah. totally forgot that fucking word in Bouquet. my head. I don't know why I'm like crazy today, uh, and I can't remember words. But yeah, they'd do that, and then it would work every time. It would have to work because I just like completely lose it. Yeah, but then people would like run up to you and throw cantaloupe in your face. <laughs> <laughs> like, Here you go. Just whip it at the door. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Be, I think it would be cool. I could start like a... a, a I, I could become a prostitute. <laughs> you and should. run my own business. The, and the cantaloupe whore. The cantaloupe whore. And it would be cool. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure how much you would get paid for that. But, you know, obviously they'd be... I'd go nuts every time. Like, I wouldn't just be like, all oh, not into it. That's just my job. I'd go nuts. So people would be really interested. Imagine the porn movie with like a bathtub full, like filled with cantaloupes, just like throw you in there. You just go yeah. nuts. Yeah, I just go crazy. So I think that would be fun. <laughs> All right, so let's just get to the next. One. Okay. Would you rather have the power to shave just by thinking really hard, or never have to take a shower or bath again because you are permanently clean? Can I shave every like part of my body that I want, or is it just like my facial hair? I, I would assume every part, because if it was just facial hair, it wouldn't apply to me. Uh, yeah, that's right. Okay, um, I'm gonna go with the shaving. I'm so fucking lazy with shaving, like, No Shave November was, like, my favorite month of the year, because, like, everybody <laughs> else was doing it, too. Like, I don't shave for, like, three months at a time. I grow, like, a huge, huge beard, like, a huge mustache. It's so disgusting. And then I just eventually have to, like, shave it off with, like, I don't know. Like, huge-ass clippers. So, I'm going to go with that. I'm so fucking lazy that I want that. I mean, showering, yeah, that would be awesome. I mean, it takes, like, ten minutes out of your day every day. But, uh, yeah, no, I want to not shave. I mean, I'll take a shower now and again. And besides, uh, having uh, sex in the shower is also fun. So, I don't want to miss out on that if I never shower again. Yeah, see, I don't want to fucking shave either. It's annoying. There's so much to shave. Like, you don't even have to shave your legs. And you just hate shaving your face. Like, oh my god, like, shaving, like, everything is just annoying. Are you bitching about shaving your legs, Kelly? Because I have to shave my balls. Okay, yeah, sure, but <laughs> that doesn't mean I don't shave my genitals either. Uh, so, the fuck truth off. is, Alright, alright, it works. So, either way, it's annoying. True. And I would love that. I would, I would so love that. It would be beautiful. And I hate that question because I know I can't have that. So we're going to move on to the next one. All right. Would you rather live in a world where the handshake was replaced by the act of grabbing another person's genitals and giggling? <laughs> okay. Or where all disputes were settled by knife fights to the death? No. Oh, my God. <laughs> I want to grab people's genitals. I don't care. You don't have to grab dicks. Yes. But <laughs> I'll just, like... Run away from men and like so. Oh no! Imagine at Christmas when like you have to say hi to oh, grandma God. and like hi to hi to your hug dad. Her, just a hugger. <laughs> <laughs> like you have to grab like your dad's dick. Uh, yeah, oh, I'm, I'm not God. sure anymore. You know, see, what? I hug people. I don't. I don't like with my family. I don't really give them handshakes. I hug them. Oh. So I don't know if it would really apply. I think I just still just hug them. No, but it's a general, like, hi, so I think that would apply to you. It's more of a, handshakes are, like, I don't know. I don't think handshakes are completely, like, I think they're more of a business thing. I think it's a female thing, because I, I shake hands with guys, and here in Quebec, we give two kisses to, to ladies on the cheeks. Yeah. That's the way it works. Hmm. So, I, yeah, no, I'm going to go with the genitals here. I can't pass touching pussy every day. 
like just random pussy like everywhere like anybody like you go get your hair cut oh man i feel like you'd just be out and about all day (laughs) yeah like fuck work i just want to grab pussy yeah i would do that one too just (laughs) because i don't know why it would just be so funny (laughs) oh wait but what oh i don't want like random creepers coming up to me and be like hey my name's and then they just like grab my genitals my vagina and go ham. It would be scary. See, I don't think that's a problem, Kelly, because you could just kind of um, have a, a a denial of handshake thing where you, you know when somebody wants to say hi to you, if you don't want to say hi, you can just give them like the cold shoulder. So I think that's the way you could do it, even with like a genital tug. You could just be around, uh, go around and be like, no, nah, sorry, I don't just don't want to say hi to you, bro. And you know, you're not going to grab my vagina. So I think you could go ahead and say no if you wanted to. I think that would work. Actually, I think I'd just, I'd like run away screaming. <laughs> or just so I could embarrass that person. What that, if, that would be fun too. <laughs> what if you came up with like a handful of cantaloupes? I know, I was just going to say, like, what if someone, like, threw a cantaloupe at me? Oh, my God, I'd just, like, fucking dive onto his hand. <laughs> it would be disgusting. <laughs> we fucked up. Oh, oh, God, this question, man. I like it. Yeah, I like that question, too. All right, guys, answer the questions in the comment section below. Thank you so much for the support you've been showing with the series. We really appreciate it. It makes us know that you guys really like watching it and are excited for new questions. And we're also having FNG tonight. Information is in the description if you don't know what FNG is. Would you like to explain it, Mr. I Try Hard? Yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's our weekly podcast where we do with uh, myself, Kelly, and Dr. Chiz. And we have a guest on every week. This week is uh, Chuck. And uh, we just talk for 90 minutes about, you know, gaming, would you rather questions, awkward questions, funny stuff. It's just really, 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 really funny podcast. And I think you guys should come check it out. Yeah, it is good. I told a bunch of um, interesting stories last week podcast so it was fun (laughs) yeah whatever um enjoy guys and have a good day bye